If I asked you what this is, you would probably say it's just a fountain. The thing is, this is no normal fountain. It spills beer. Located 60 kilometers east of Ljubljana, a small Slovenian town of less than 5,000 souls has become not only locally known, but famous in the whole of Europe for a particular idea. The town is Jalets. The idea is precisely the beer fountain. Here we are, just got off the bus in Jalets. Of course, the beer is not for free. All you have to do is buy a glass with a microchip in it, and then you can choose how many times you want to use it, with 0.1 liter per time and up to 10 times. The microchip recognizes when you cannot drink anymore. You will be shown a red light and the beer won't come out. So, if you are thinking about coming here just to get drunk, you'd better change your plans. We recommend you try all the different beers the fountain offers at least once, including a green beer made with hemp. Okay, I'm going to try for the first time in my life a green beer. It's really different from what I've drunk before, but it's really particular, really, really nice. Probably my favorite vice beer that I've ever had, because I'm not typically, I'm not typically a fan of vice beers, but this vice beer is probably the best vice beer I've ever had. We wanted to know more, so we asked a couple of questions to Vojko, a local guide and one of the friendliest people we have ever met. And this is the first and the only one. Perfect. <laughs> unicorn all around the world and we are proud on this. <laughs> now, when did it actually become the first? When did it start? When did it yes, happen? five years ago. Okay. And the story is very exciting and interesting because one person got the biggest uh, Euro jackpot in the history of Slovenia. And the incomes uh, came to local community. And with this tax of these incomes, we built this beer fountain. But an idea was three years before. Okay. How many people come here all the time, like a day? They, it's, before COVID? Yes, yes, before COVID, about uh, 200 a day. per day on weekend time, okay. about 500, oh. yeah, okay. because there were a lot of bus trips. Of course. Yeah, of but course. now there are a little bit more, okay, a little bit, only a little bit bus, okay. <laughs> buses. <laughs> Which is your favorite beer? Yeah, this is difficult to say because we change this beer all the time. How mm. often? Every month. Every month? Oh, okay. Every month we change this beer and we try to find really good and also very different kinds of beer. Okay. But in all these beers is the hops from this well. Really? Because this well is well known on hops grown. Really? Yeah. Do you have a favorite this month? Yes, this month the favorite is the fourth month. Uh, this one, very, very good pale from one local brewery. And it's a combination between flour and bitter and it's nice. Okay. As we head back, 
we think how nicely a small town has managed to create tourism with what the region can offer and we definitely recommend you visit this place in the heart of Slovenia. Thank you very much. Slovenian.